Alright guys, we are continuing on with House of the Dragon Season 2, Episode number 3. Um, last time on, we had two more casualties in this war with Sir Eric and Sir Art coming to blows. We also had the dismissal of Otto Hightower as Hand of the King and Sir Kristen Cole replacing him. Um, so that's going to be very interesting to see how everything goes there because Sir Kristen Cole is definitely a calm person and doesn't make rash decisions at all. Um, but yeah, if you guys do enjoy these videos, consider hitting the like button and clicking the subscribe button down below to get notified when new videos come out. And let's get into it. Oh, they've updated the info. Uh, yep, rat catches. That's cool. I like that they updated the intro. It's like the story's still being told, so like the tapestry's still being woven. Can you even get that thing up? Well enough for killing Blackwoods. <laughs> ah, Bracken. Put the boundary stones back. Man, these two families have been going at it for centuries. This is our land. Man, they'll look for any reason to fight. It's Bracken, man. Families. Babe killer. What did you say? Okay. Your false queen Rhaenyra is a kinslayer. Your uncle declared for Aegon, did he? Let me tell you. They're definitely gonna fight now. Targaryen is no true king, just as you are no true knight. Oh. You wouldn't dare. Yes, I think he would. Damn. There's a lot more people though. Uh, so things are starting to escalate. He sullies the grave of his brother. I cannot fault him. Poor brothers, man. Otto Hightower would never have allowed this. Yeah, he's not in charge anymore, though. Soon they will not even remember what it was that began the war in the first place. Yeah. Usurped my throne. That is one answer. Or was it when the child was beheaded? Or when Aemond killed Luke? Or when Luke took Aemon's eye. Yeah, how far back do you go? There may be another way. Alicent uh. Hightower. There is no war so hateful to the gods as a war between kin. Yeah. And no war so bloody as a war between dragons. Yes, that is true. What she did is not her, but the men around her who seek bloodshed. She permitted it. She might not be in control. Aegon's new banners. Look at the state of the King's God. Forgive my lateness. Important business, no doubt. You've appointed new knights to the King's Guard, Your Grace. To replace those we lost. <laughs> the last one needlessly, some might say. Yep. House Bracken took it upon themselves to attack the Blackwoods. We declared for the Pretender. Lord Samuel Blackwood himself is slain. Good. First blood in our name. The Blackwoods and the Brackens have feuded for centuries. This is nothing more than an excuse for them to indulge their ancient grudge. It's no true war. Call it what you will. I call it war. The Riverlands are the key to the war. I will ride out with those I can muster here. Men I know. Men are trained. What say you, my king? And you'll take Aemond and Vagar. Vagar will remain here. No. To defend the city. Good. To war, then. That's what he's been waiting for. And, and what will you do if you encounter one or more of Rhaenyra's dragons? She'll want to answer for Sir Arik. We will be more likely to encounter one if we field one of our own. It's a brave thought, but we cannot risk your loss. <laughs> I'm as fearsome as any of them. He wants to be in the fight. I don't know if that's the right decision. I was told you turned back from your ship to bring warning. I was not believed at first. You saved my life. What is the life of a queen worth these days? What price would you set? A place at your court. I know the workings of the Red Keep and the movements of those who serve there. And that is worth more than gold. But more than that, I know the struggles of the small folk of King's Landing. They will be ruled either by you or by the usurper. Mm. Are they always like this? Sea smoke 
My late Lord Husband's dragon has grown restless of late. I cannot know why. Maybe he's lonely. Maybe. Maybe he misses Lainhall? The Red Keep is in disarray. They have sent one assassin in the night, and their dragons are ever a short flight away. You must take the little ones further. To Pentos, I think. When my mother died. It is safer than anywhere in Westeros. Is it? I'm sorry to put this upon you. It breaks my heart to send my boys away. But you have seen what may befall them here. Reyna, I need you to be the mother to them that I cannot. Oh. Guard them as a dragon guards her eggs. And my sister? I need Bailey here because she has a dragon. I cannot promise to make you happy. Yeah. But I ask you, make this sacrifice willingly for all of us. Your grace. Yeah, she's not happy. <laughs> Back with Damon. Damn, <laughs> Francis is so cool. <laughs> is he gonna take the castle by himself? There's nobody here. Is that the Great Hall? That we saw at the start of the show? I think so. Oh. oh. I, Sir Simon Strong, Castellan of Harrenhal, pledge fealty to Rhaenyra of House Targaryen, first of her name. Who's she? Shame to let it waste. He thinks they're trying to poison him. And what of your lord, Laris Strong? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He who sits at the false court of Egon. Larry's clubfoot is no lord of mine. Do you not think it strange that his father, my nephew, Lord Lionel, perished by fire here in this damp place? It was the first <laughs> fire here since Balerion ended the line of Harrow and the Black. Even in summer, Damn. we struggled to light the hearths. So, no, you will find no loyalty to Larry Strong here, my prince. Your grace. Yeah, he's a king. What then brings you to our corner of the Riverlands? Harrenhal is the largest castle in the Seven Kingdoms. To what possible end? There are 40,000 swords in the Riverlands, the largest undeclared host in the realm. You should know that a substantial number of those swords have now declared and are presently at war. Houses Bracken and Blackwood have long detested one another. Why? The answer to that is lost in time. Sin yeah. begets sin. They've been fighting so long that they don't know why they're fighting anymore. That would be Lord Grover Tully, but he grows frail. It's said that he can no longer speak. His grip on his bannerman is weak. They feel they can do as they please. I will speak with him nonetheless. Perhaps the presence of the crown and a dragon will sharpen minds around these parts. What then? We march on King's Landing and take the throne. The throne? It's a big chair made of swords. <laughs> Damon. Love him or hate him, he is entertaining as hell. So, Kristen, may I present my brother, Sir Gwen Hightower? Arrived ah. last night from Altown. We have a full compliment, Your Grace. Then you shall have a fuller one. May the Seven guide you, good night, and lead you not into shadow and death. I thank Your Grace for her prayers. I love these wide shots of like King's Landing. So cool. They have penetrated our castle walls and now the Riverlands are aflame after the Battle of the Burning Mill. Then we must press what advantage we do have. And what is that? Dragons. Send them all out. Start turning green strongholds to our cause. Mm, I don't think that's a no. good idea. If dragons begin fighting dragons, we invite our own destruction. Prince Damon is abroad, and Egan's factions are enraged at the death of his son. You have never been so exposed. Perhaps it is time for you to think about secreting yourself somewhere safe, while we remain here as a source of distraction for the enemy. He proposed to conduct the war in my absence. It, it would merely be a precaution. It would be treason. Mm. You are fortunate you took it no further. Who is her this hand council the king? would do well to remember that their queen wears the crown of my grandsire, Jaehaerys the Conciliator, a prudent ruler, the wisest of Targaryen kings, whose reign outlasted every other, even Aegon the Conqueror's. 
Damn, that's a statement. I feel like Rainy should be her hand. I would fight a hundred battles before I went into exile with none but prattling babes. One of those babes is your heir. It would displease neither Rhaenyra nor the gods. Rainer were named heir to Driftmark. Yeah, she is a Valarian. Lady of the Tides. There's Rainer or there is Joffrey. We are at war, Corlys. If something were to befall you. Then it is well that I am a good sailor. Hmm. Go safely, sister. I will be safe enough. Far away from any danger with only babes to nurse me. You do a great service. These eggs are even more fragile. But should all come to Damn. ruin here, you will bear our hope for the future. Your Grace. Four dragon eggs, those are extremely valuable right now. I wonder why she didn't bond with any other dragons after they got. Because she is capable of doing that. That horrid procession where the small folk all stirred. I warrant they thought I had no more right to grief than they do. Surely they lose their babes more than highborn ladies. Mm, yeah. The stranger comes for us all. You have as much claim to grief as anyone. And you? I loved your Harris, but my concern has been more for you and what you have endured. I forgive you. What? No. I said that I forgive you. For taking Sir Kristen Cole away, not having him there. There are rumours that the king readies himself to fly to war. Mm, what is it to you? Only that I think it would benefit all of us to prevent our king from being brutally slain by our enemies and his body parts scattered to beasts <laughs> and his court come to ruin, would you not agree? There are diverse rumours whispered on the streets of your city. One such is that your grace sends his forces to battle and in his courage and wisdom flies with them. Another is that his grace was outwitted by his counsellors and persuaded to fly to war with Sir Criston so the Queen Alicent may reign in his absence. Lord Laris, my father, always said he had no use for a master of whisperers. I should be glad of your talents. You honour me. Your grace. He's very popular. Come on, Hulk, give us a flag and go there, yeah? Yeah, my. Oh, I think I know who he is. <laughs> is that Diana? Dornish, are you? Yes, I am. The part of Westeros, my house never settled. Although it said even Dawn mourned the passing of my grandsire, is that so? Who was your grandsire? They call him the Conciliator. I'm the son of Balon the Brave. Bastard brother to Prince Damon. And the late King Viserys. You do not look very much like King Viserys or Prince Damon. Yeah, I'll tell you who else doesn't have silver hair. The rightful heir to the Iron Throne, my nephew, Prince Viserys Valarian. Ooh. All hail the king! All hail the king! Drinks for all, at the pleasure of the crown! Yes! How many more dragon scenes are there? That's the question. Ellison's message? That she never read? Gwen, our company has come back yonder. Mm. On the cold, hard ground. Which is why we make for the bull. We march to make the first strike in the name of his grace. I assure you, my nephew will not begrudge me a night of comfort. This guy, man. If it soothes your brow, Cole, we will rendezvous with your army at first light. Or if their wine is good, perhaps a little after first light. Dragon? We're exposed. What? Cole? Get to the trees! Oh. Yeah. Who's that? Ah, oh, it's Baylor. You better ride for your life, son. Oh. Damn. I'm in your debt. 
They know we're abroad, they'll be hunting. And we must move under the trees and by cover of dark starting tonight. And no fucking inns. Could you be certain it was cold from such a great height? It was not such a great height, Your Grace. Yeah, she got You said not to us. engage, so I didn't. This is why you must act now, Your Grace. Loose the dragons, root Cole out, and burn him. What's she gonna do? I have heard your arguments, and will consider them. Rainus is happy about that. That she's not just jumping at the first opportunity of war. That's a creepy voice in the background. Always coming and going, aren't you? Is that young Renera? And I have to clean up afterwards. Oh, all of his guilt coming back to him. You will die in this place. Damn, that's ominous. What do you know of the movements of Alice and Hightower? Would you take her hostage? Or kill her outright? I would speak with her. Killing her would be easier. <laughs> if war can be averted, it is my duty to avert it. She is the Queen Dowager. She goes nowhere without many eyes watching her. Yeah, how would you get to her? There are fishing boats plenty in the bay. The city depends on them. Damon made the journey unhindered. There is one place Alicent goes. Outside the castle walls. Where you may yet find her alone. Where's that? He's got to be ready. <laughs> She's like, excuse me, um, I'm praying here. No, no. <laughs> Why did you pull out a dagger? I must speak with you. If I could cry out, your knights would find me. I would be taken or slain. Then not before I killed you. And then what? Gone badly. <laughs> Rainius has counseled me. She said she saw in you a wish to avert the worst of what may now come. So you've come to surrender then? My dragons are restless, they smell battle. But if you and I may come to terms. There are no terms now. Yeah. You have no army. I am a mother too, and you have yet to answer for the murder of my son. I repudiate that act with all my heart. Of course you do. I'm usurping my rightful inheritance. Ooh, yeah. Have you now stooped so low that you will countenance the suffering and death of thousands in order that your feckless son your father to... changed his mind? Oh. I saw the king that night. She needs to tell her what she what he said though. A right he upheld steadfastly every day of his life after my mother died. And yet you will maintain that his mind was changed in an instant. I will. You lie. Ask what he said. Did you betray him at the very last? When was your plan first laid? Was your ambition so cute? He changed his mind, Rhaenyra. He changed his mind. Yeah, now say what he said. I swear this to you, on the memory of my mother. What did he say at the end? Yes, finally. <laughs> he was weary. It was hard at times to understand. But he spoke Ekon's name. He said he was the prince that was promised to unite the realm. What? I desire peace as you do, but to possess. Did my father use those She's words? realizing it now. The prince that was promised. Oh, damn. He spoke to you of the Song of Ice and Fire. She doesn't know what she's talking about. It's a story he once told <laughs> about Aegon the Conqueror. Yeah, Alice is realizing she messed up. <laughs> you must go before you are discovered. There's been a mistake. There's been a mistake. Please. A terrible war is looming. And even victory may be so bloody as to be counted a loss. Do not let your pride blind you. There's a blood. 
No mistake. It's too late, Rhaenyra. Alison. Yeah, she can't undo what she started when she made Aegon king. He won't. He won't step down like and give up the throne. No way. Therefore, there is only one thing left, and that's war. All right, guys. So that's another episode of House of the Dragon in the books. Um, I really did enjoy this episode. I thought it was really well done, um, and very well paced as well. Um, unfortunately, I don't think there is anything Ellison could do at this moment in time. Um, you know, she doesn't have any control of Aegon anymore, nor Aemon. Um, so yeah, I think there's nothing that she could do to convince Aegon to step aside and give up the throne. And I don't think Rhaenyra would give up the throne either. So unfortunately, I think, yeah, war is inevitable at this point, you know. Um, and we kind of got our first glimpse of just how bloody this war can get uh, between the Breckens and the Blackwoods um, at the start of the episode. So yeah, I think war is pretty much inevitable at this point. Um, we also got to see Damon at Harrowhall, and he either had a premonition or like a nightmare. Um, but yeah, that I thought that scene was very interesting just because we got to see kind of his guilt a little bit over the death of Prince Jaehaerys. And I think I think that's kind of is that kind of shows us that maybe he didn't necessarily say kill the baby. That he maybe just said like, "Hey, bring me the head of a prince," and he maybe inter he maybe meant you know if you can't find Aemond, kill Aegon, um, but Blood and Cheese took that as a Jaehaerys is a prince, you know. So I think he was maybe just loose with his words, and that ended up um, in an outcome that he didn't really want. And this was kind of them showing it to us, like you know. He does feel guilt and remorse about that situation. So I thought that was really interesting. Um, I thought it was really cool to see the actress for young Rhaenyra again. That was really fun. Um, also, in relation to Damon, we have got to meet our first dragon seed. Um, Off White, I believe is what it's called. Um, so that was really cool. It's really interesting because in the books, you don't actually know who his parents or his lineage um, is. But we did find out that he is the bastard son of Balon the Brave, aka Viserys and Daemon's father, um, which makes him the half-brother, obviously, to Daemon and Viserys. Um, but yeah, it was really cool to actually hear about his lineage and stuff. Um, but yeah, he is a dragon seed, a half, he's half Targaryen, I am, um, I believe. The funny thing is, he's actually probably, he's probably has roughly the same amount of Targaryen blood as Alicent's kids and Rhaenyra's kids have. Um, and they can, both sides of them can ride dragons, so we'll have to kind of see um, how that plays out. Because, like, the only people that kind of have more Targaryen blood than them would be, like, Bela and Rhaena, because they have Valerian blood on both their mother and father's side. Um, so, yeah. I think that's interesting um but yeah we'll have to see kind of how that all plays out uh Damon and Rhaenyra's kids obviously also have probably more Targaryen blood um so we'll have to see how that plays out but yeah I'm definitely looking forward to seeing more of the dragon seeds um we also got Rhaena uh taking all the kids away so uh Joffrey's heading over to Lady Jane Arryn in the Vale who he actually is related to um on Rhaenyra's mother's side so that's a pretty safe place I think for him and then obviously we have the other two kids being taken away with Rhaena to Pentos. One thing I did find interesting is just that the fact that Rhaena never bonded with another dragon after the incident with Vhagar um because like there are plenty of other dragons out there that she could have bonded with so I don't understand why she wouldn't have bonded with another dragon. I mean, there's obviously Sea Smoke, who's Lenor's dragon, which is her uncle's dragon that's available. There's Bermuthor, Silverwing, uh, Sheepsteel, I think. And there's plenty more uh, wild dragons out there. So 
just, I'm just wondering why she never tried to bond bond with another dragon. Um, but yeah, uh, I thought this overall was just a really good episode. I really did enjoy it. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought, and I'll see you guys in the next one.